Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the difference between plate and surface. Also, all of you might have must heard about the plate and shell as well. Now let me tell you, both the term plate and shell represents the same thing. Okay, so don't get confused with plate and shell. All surface. So plate and shell both are the similar things. Then we have separate term which is surface. in order to model structure in terms of finite element analysis so it's a three noded triangular or four noded quadrilateral element to which a thickness has to be assigned as a property this is commonly referred to as a 2d finite element instead this element has both attributes membrane that is in plane effect and bending that is out of plane effect the bending effect can be shut off by declaring it as element plane stress and the in plane effect cannot be shut off now let's go with the plate element versus surface what's that now if you want to model a structure which contains a wall slab or panel type component you have two choices instead the first is model that panel using a collection of individual elements this is called a finite element mesh This is an assembly of the 2D triangular or quadrilateral elements. Second, model that as a single physical object called surface. Okay, now see. Currently, we are utilizing the latest version that is Stat Pro Connect Edition. Now, in the newer version, the surface element have been deprecated. In the older version, that is in Stat Pro V8I version, the surface element was supported. in the newer version it is removed all right so if you have model any structure in case in the older version now it the design engine will allow them but its use is not recommended okay so that is the first thing so in the our connect edition version will not able to model shear wall or any what we can say the stair element in terms of surface now let's see some of the basic important points over here what is the difference now as you can see over here a plate element can be a plate element can be three noded or four noded now in case of surface it can be modeled up to eight node all right now in case of plate it has to be meshed through a different command now in case of surface we have provision for auto meshing okay also in case of plate there are three or four corners of plate and it can be of different thickness while in case of surface it has to be uniform thickness okay now let's discuss about the results now the output of the plate analysis gives the result for out of plane moment and shear and designs it accordingly in case of surface element the output of the surface analysis gives the result for in plane moment and shear as required for the shear wall so i hope this is helpful to you now the next important point in the latest version that we are currently using that is stat pro connect edition in that particular they have also made some changes in the command prompt now in that particular case you can model a plate utilizing the three noded plates in that particular cursor and the second option which was in the earlier version you can manually create a four noded plates if you have nodes right but in case of the latest version you have only option in ke in terms of infill plates okay so in that particular you must require a closed boundary in order to create the four noded plate otherwise it is not possible so currently i am talking about the latest version okay you can create the three noded plate or you require a closed boundary of beams and nodes in order to complete a four noded plate okay the in the older version we have option said though so that if we have four nodes we can create it manually right when you go for the creating geometry by add plate you have two different options in the older version if you remember add three noded plates or four noded plates so in the latest version it is removed you can check that now in case of surface as i mentioned this option is removed in case of the latest version right 
Now, in the newer version, what we can do? We have to model shear wall using the mesh of plates and model it using the parametrical model option. Once the analysis is carried out, then we have to use advanced concrete design option to take that particular model into stead art CDC application for design. And then we can model our shear wall utilizing the IS456 as well as IS13920 command. Got it? So currently keep that in mind in the latest version we can go for the plate element only. Right. In our structure we will model staircase as well as shear wall in order to consider the stiffness only. Okay, we will not design in stat pro. We will model in terms of plate in order to consider the stiffness of that shear wall as well as staircase to the analysis. Okay. Now let me just quickly show you in case of the older version what was the option see this is the older version screenshot uh, which I have taken from the VATI version series 6 so in that particular we have option to create the shear wall utilizing the surface element and in that older version we have three core specification to model the shear wall you can check over here see and we can model our shear wall utilizing the IS456 but one thing to that particular in older version it also don't support the ductile detailing as IS13920 right in the older version the ductile detailing was not supported it was only designed by IS456 right so in case of the latest version utilizing the RCDC application we can design it utilizing 456 as well as ductile detailing so I hope this is helpful so now it's clear so in the latest version we can't go for the surface option so one thing to keep in mind over here if you have modeled your structure with shear wall in the older version and then you are running your file in the latest version then the design engine will allow them but its use is not recommended means you will not able to select your surface elements okay or the stat file might give you the error regarding to that particular or it's it's in terms of warning only so over here I have mentioned the sign convention for the plate element as well to make you understand so that you you'll you'll be able to interpret the results for the stresses so check out over here you can observe the local axis for the plate element this is the top surface this is the bottom surface we have X Y and Z is perpendicular to the top surface now see sign convention for the plate element positive mx and positive my will produce tension on the plate local top and compression on the plate local bottom now in the likewise negative mx and negative my will produce compression on the plate local top and tension on the plate local bottom now the surface from which the local positive z axis projects projects out is the top surface of the plate so keep that particular thing in mind considering the moment for the particular plate element you can observe over here as per the local axis you have the moments this is the MX moment for the local axis this is the MY moment for your local Y axis right now keep that particular thing in mind as well uh, from the diagram this is the representation of your sign convention okay this is the sign convention for plate bending so in that particular MX is the bending moment on the local X face okay so this is your local X face for the X direction this is your X direction let me just change this this is your local X direction right so what it's trying to say MX is the bending moment on the local X face and the local X face is the face perpendicular to the local X axis so this is the face which is perpendicular to the local X axis that's what is trying to say now in the same manner for MY MY is the bending moment on the local Y face so this is your local Y face right this is your bending moment and this is the local Y face and the local Y face is the face perpendicular to the local Y axis so if I consider this is the face what I'm talking about is 
this is the face in the opposite direction which is perpendicular to the local y axis so i hope it is helpful to interpret the result as well now see if you have model your structure in case of the older version then for surface element also i have specify the result interpretation over here you can check out this too right so in the older version engineers prefer to model the shear wall in terms of surface